you missed nothing. Uh, got, uh, uh, well, I forgot to put, put the traps on. Sorry.
Come with me, my friend. I will take you to Arga. What do you intend to do now? Avenge myself upon Robar the Third and his cursed paladins. You wouldn't know a sword from a toothpick. They'd mince you. You want Ivy's death to go unavenged? And what about that of my mother and my friends? No, but what if there was a way to avenge yourself without storming right into your death? Hmm. Let's hear it. It is said that there is an ancient temple somewhere in the mountains. They say there is a blessed anvil there. Robar's paladins search for the temple because they want to use the anvil to forge weapons for their campaign against Argan. I see. And I should interfere with their plans. Exactly. And if the anvil really does exist, Forge yourself something to speed your vengeance. Where should I start looking for the temple? On the hill back there, in the Cleaved Maiden Tavern. You'll find a mage by the name of Duranis there. He knows a lot of the old stories. Talk to him. Maybe he'll have heard of the temple. How do you know about the Paladin's plans? When I was still at Robar's court, I always kept a watchful eye on Lord Hagen and his men. And many a maid servant of the Paladin's kept an ear open for me. So who is this Lord Hagen? He commands the Paladin's and is a member of Robar's High Council. Will you join me? No, you need to learn to stand on your own two feet. I'll be sailing on to Stuark. When you arrive in Stuark, talk to the landlord at the Cliff Tavern. He'll know where to find me. I don't know you. How'd you get in here? By boat, from Fesher. And you expect me to believe that? Look at the beach down there. That's my boat. Hm. I'll let you through. But if you cause any trouble, you'll have us woodcutters to deal with. Got it? I'm looking for Duranus. Where can I find him? In the pub or in his room. You best ask Murdra. 
She'll know where he's at. Murderer? The landlady here. Just go in, you'll see her. Are you Duranis? Yes. What do you want? I'm searching for an ancient temple up in the mountains. Yes, I heard about a temple up there. Where exactly? Don't know, but... There is an archive of old maps in the fortress at Silver Lake. If ever there was a place to find a clue, it's there. So how do I get to Silver Lake? Not at all, at the moment. Brigands have occupied the bridge to Stuwak. But the people here are trying to think of a way to deal with the brigands. Help them. Perhaps they'll help you. Who's working on the brigand problem here? Murdra, the landlady here, I'm sure. And I think Rorta has a plan too. Rorta? A guild fighter. He was here just a moment ago, making vague insinuations about secret negotiations with some of the brigands. Where's Rota now? He's headed for the old Sederifian watchtower. To the south of here, on the beach. What are you doing here? I thought mages hang around the monastery all day long. <laughs> some do, indeed. I, however, am on I'm my right. way by Frame order of Grand flat. Master Milton. <clears throat> he has expressed great interest in the ancient stone circles scattered throughout our game. And have you discovered anything about the stone circles? So far, only that they drive me insane. The Grand Master discovered a way to awaken their power, but all the circles I've found so far are immune to my magic. Hmm, I have a feeling someone's beaten us to the punch. What happens when a stone circle awakens? Apparently, the circles are connected. If one could establish a connection to one of the circles, it should be possible to travel instantly to it from another circle. We experimented with two circles in Thorny Ara. But... Nothing's working here. Well, if you're curious, there's one not far from the Cleaved Maiden.